Hello again. I've chosen another story for us to share today. This is called How Many Dinosaurs Deep? Now, this little boy is going swimming and he's actually wearing swimming trunks like what we wear at the Compass School. Red ones! Every Tuesday we get the big, big coach, big bus, after our lunch down to the Obany Centre swimming pool. That's the swimming pool in Haddington. You've maybe been there before. Once there, we get ourselves changed into our red swimming shorts. And Madame, who also comes to Form 1 to teach us French, will join us ready for our swimming lesson. Now, our swimming lesson is taken by some of the swimming coaches at the actual swimming pool. And Madame is there to help you on poolside if you need. And myself and Mr Spiden, we wait in the changing rooms. So if you need the toilet, we're there, ready to take you. The swimming lesson isn't long, it's half an hour and you'll get to learn to have fun in the water, lots of splashing, lots of kicking. You'll learn how to keep your body up on the surface and how to move your arms properly to power you through the water. As you get better at swimming, we award swimming badges and you can actually sew them onto your swimming shorts if you like. So shall we dive in and find out if this is going to give us a bit more information about how to evaluate a swimming pool before you jump inside? So how many dinosaurs deep? Jim, that's the little boy here, Jim was learning how to swim. He had just gone up from the baby pool to the middle sized pool. Now at Haddington there are two pools as well. There is a baby pool and there's also the big pool. Most of us will start in the small pool until we get our confidence up and then as you get better and better at swimming, and those of you who've maybe already had lessons before, you will progress quite quickly to the big swimming pool. Don't worry, said his mum. It's not that deep. I don't think the middle-sized pool would even come up to a stegosaurus's knee. Really? said Jim as he edged away from the water. A stegosaurus must be big. How deep can water get? Oh! Deep, said his mum. Some watery places are deeper than others. Oh, how many dinosaurs deep is the fishbowl? Asked Jim. Mm, one microceratops standing nice and straight, but a stegosaurus would hardly wet his toes. So here's the, micros, the microceratops. And I think maybe this is the stegosaurus toes. How many dinosaurs deep is the bath? Hmm, probably a placodo placodoscus. Now, this doesn't happen to Mrs. Brown very often. This is the name of a dinosaur that I've not heard of before. I'm assuming this is maybe this creature here in the bath. Now, there's some of you who'll be dinosaur experts. I know every year in Form 1 we have several of them and I always have to defer to them. Have you ever seen a dinosaur like this before? He sort of looks like a crocodile. A Placodocus would have to hold its breath, but a Stegosaurus, it would only be ankle depth. Hmm, how about the big pool? How many dinosaurs deep is the big pool? Hmm, said Mum. You might just be able to see three oviraptors standing on each other's shoulders, but the Stegosaurus would only be shoulder deep. Mm, said Jim. How many dinosaurs deep is the water at the end of the jetty? Now a jetty is like a little harbour. It's a little bridge that kind of comes out that boats can pull up next to and, and tie themselves up. So we're not talking about the swimming pool anymore. Um, our jetty goes deep. So a stegosaurus with a snorkel, maybe, or perhaps two talosauruses playing at acrobats would be just about right. Didn't know dinosaurs could play acrobats. They were very talented. Oh, said Jim, that is deep. How many dinosaurs deep is the river at Uncle Barry's shack? Oh, too deep, said Mum, for a stegosaurus that can't swim. One Tyrannosaurus Rex on its tippy toes might just manage. You see Stegosaurus is waiting by the bank. Oh, said Jim, 
Look, he's getting ready to go. What about the big blue lake near Nana's house? How many dinosaurs deep is that? Hmm, about five iguanodons giving each other a boost. Or one brilliant Brachiosaurus. Jim scratched his head. Mm. And thought for a while before he finally asked, Mum, what is the deepest water in all the world? Wow, that is an excellent question. Oh, said Mum, I know this one. It's the Great Pacific Ocean. In the Pacific Ocean, there is a place so deep and dark that only the strangest creatures live down there. It's called the Mariana Trench. 11 kilometres of water straight down. That's about 687 Brachiosauruses standing on one another's heads. Or 11,000 little boys deep. So be sure your doggy paddle is working properly before you dive into the water there. That is very, very deep indeed. It's so deep that when scientists want to go down and explore it, they have to use little submarines to get down there. Very deep and the pressure is very great. The water presses down to you. Have you ever swam down into the bottom of the pool? Sometimes your ears do a little popping noise. That's what happens when you go deep down into water. Oh, there he goes. One, two, three. You're right, Mum, said Jim with big wide eyes. I don't think I have anything to worry about in the middle-sized pool. It's just Stegosaurus knee-deep. Hey, wonderful. Now, those fans of the dinosaurs, let's have a look if we can find out a little bit more about the dinosaurs featured in this story. So, the one at the very start, the one I think that was maybe Jim's favourite, was the Stegosaurus. He's one of my favourite too. A long time ago, scientists believed that these plates on the back were used for defence, that maybe they would use them to stab at predators like Tyrannosaurus rex. But more recently, they've decided that actually when the Stegosaurus is threatened, when something wants to try and take a nibble from him, he puts loads of blood up into these plates and turn them a bright red colour to scare off predators. This one is probably the biggest, isn't it? The Brachiosaurus. Huge dinosaurs. But nothing to be frightened of. They eat grass and plants and we call them herbivores. Now this is a Microceratops. He was a very small dinosaur that lived in North America and Asia about 17 million years ago. He had a parrot-shaped beak. This is the Placodoscus, which was a marine reptile which swam in shallow seas around 240 million years ago. He ate shellfish and crustaceans. They believe the big lizards weren't great swimmers or runners as they had very, very heavy rib bones. And the adults grew to about 40 centimetres tall. So that's not very big. That's probably a very small crocodile kind of size. The Oviraptor is Latin for egg thief. He was discovered, found, um, one, the first skeleton was discovered, found beside a nest of eggs. So paleontologists thought it might have been trying to pinch them when he died. The Iguanodon were big plant-eating dinosaurs that could walk on two legs or four if they chose. The Talarusus, Again, that's a one that I've not really heard of. I'm familiar with Ankylosaurus. Do you know that one? Very similar and like an armour-plated dinosaur. This was a plant-eating dinosaur too. The size of a hippopotamus. Had bony spikes and plates all over its body. Even on its cheeks. This is Tyrannosaurus rex. We all know him. He was the carnivore, the meat-eater. And you certainly wouldn't want to meet him. And he always makes me giggle because of his short little arms. So that was our story. How many dinosaurs deep? I hope you are looking forward to next going swimming when the pools open. I miss swimming. It was one of my favourite activities when I was little and I still enjoy it now. You have a great day today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.